Hello, I'm Beth O'Leary, author of The Flat Share. Um, I'm so thrilled uh, to have made the shortlist for the Authors Club Best First Novel Award. Um, it's just such an honour and a privilege to be on the list with such amazing titles. Um, so I thought I would read a little bit of one of my favourite scenes. Um, this is when Tiffy first arrives at the flat, which she's going to be sharing with Leon, um, but they are going to be there at opposite times. Uh, because Leon works nights and Tiffy works days. As I buzz for flat three, a movement catches my eye. It's a fox, strolling out from around the, where the bins seem to live. It gives me an insolent stare, pausing with one paw in the air. I've never actually been this close to a fox before. It's a lot mangier than they look in picture books. Foxes are nice though, aren't they? They're so nice you're not allowed to shoot them for fun anymore, even if you're an aristocrat with a horse. The door buzzes and clicks out of the lock. I make my way inside. It's very brown. Brown carpet, biscuit-coloured walls. But that doesn't really matter. It's inside the flat that matters. When I knock on the door of flat three, I find myself feeling genuinely nervous. No, borderline panicked. I'm really doing this, aren't I? Considering sleeping in some random stranger's bed. Actually leaving Justin's flat. Oh God, maybe Gertie was right and this is all just a bit too much. For a vertiginous moment, I imagine going back to Justin's, back to the comfort of that chrome and white flat, to the possibility of having him back. But the thought doesn't feel quite as good as I imagined it would. Somehow, perhaps around 11pm the Thursday before last, that flat started to look a little different, and so did I. I know in a vague, don't look straight at it sort of way that this is a good thing. I've got this far. I can't go back now. I need to like this place. It's my only option. So when someone answers the door who clearly isn't Leon, I'm so in the mood to be accommodating that I just go with it. I don't even act surprised. Hi! Hello, says the woman at the door. She's petite, with olive skin and one of those pixie haircuts that makes you look French if you've got a small enough head. I immediately feel enormous. She does nothing to dispel this feeling. As I step into the flat, I can feel her looking me up and down. I try to take in the decor. Ooh, dark green wallpaper. Looks genuine 1970s. But after a while, the feel of her eyes on me starts to nag. I turn to meet her gaze head on. Oh, it's the girlfriend. And her expression could not be more obvious. It says, I was worried you might be hot and try to steal my boyfriend from me while you were making yourself at home in his bed, but now I've seen you and he'd never be attracted to you. So yes, come on in. She's all smiles now. Fine, whatever. If this is what it takes to get this flat, no problem. She's not going to belittle me out of this one. She has no idea how desperate I am. I'm Kay, she says, holding out a hand. Her grip is firm. Leon's girlfriend. I figured. I smiled to take the edge off it. So nice to meet you. Is Leon in the... I lean my head into the bedroom. It's that or the living room, which has the kitchen in the corner. There's not really much more to the flat than this. Bathroom, I try, on seeing the empty bedroom. Leon's stuck at work, says Kay, ushering me through to the living area. It's pretty minimalist and a little worn around the edges but it's clean and I do love that 1970s wallpaper everywhere. I bet someone would pay £80 a roll for that if Farrow and Ball started selling it. There's a low-hanging pendant light in the kitchen area that doesn't quite match the decor but is sort of fabulous. The sofa is battered leather, the TV isn't actually plugged in but looks relatively decent, and the carpet has been recently hoovered. This all looks promising. Maybe this is going to be good. Maybe it's going to be great. I flip through a quick montage of myself here lazing about on the sofa, rustling something up in the kitchen, and suddenly the idea of having all this space to myself makes me want to bounce on the spot. I hope you enjoyed that, um, and thank you so much again. I, I really am totally thrilled. All right, thanks so much.